So standing on a mat, feet hip width apart, soften those knees, but now lengthen up through your spine. So starting from your tailbone, lengthening right up through the spine, reaching long through the crown of the head. Wide through your collarbones, bring the weight more into your heels at the back. Gently engage with the pelvic floor and deep tummy. Take a breath in there. We're going to start with some shoulder rolls. So just picking up the left shoulder, rolling that shoulder up and back. And then take that left arm down the side of your body until you can feel a stretch through the right side of the trunk. Restacking the body from there. And now a shoulder roll is the right shoulder up and back. Sliding that right arm down the side of the body, feeling the stretch in through the left side of your waist, and then re-stacking from there. Taking this into an upper body roll, so we're now doing your shoulder roll, sliding down the side, and then as you breathe in, rolling the upper body forward, so you're rounding out through the shoulders and through the head, and exhaling to re-stack back through the centre of the body. Rolling through your right shoulder, sliding that down the side of the body, inhaling and roll the body forward, rounding up through your shoulders and upper back, and then exhale to restack back up through the center. We'll do that once more on each side. So left shoulder roll, exhale, slide down the left side of the body, and inhale to round out through the upper body, breathing out to restack back up through the center. And then again on the other side, shoulder roll, exhaling to slide down the side, inhaling to round forward, and exhaling to restack. Now we're changing this to add a mermaid stretch. So let's now roll that left shoulder blade up and back, slide down the side of the body, and bring your right arm up and over until you can feel a stronger stretch right through the side of the trunk. Restacking from there, inhale to roll the shoulder, slide the arm down the side of the body, bring that left arm up and over, keeping your hips and your body still facing forward, and then restacking from there. So left shoulder roll, sliding down the side, bringing your right arm up and over, inhaling as you hold the stretch, and breath out to restack. And shoulder roll, exhale, slide down, bringing your right arm up and over, and then re-stacking from there. Now changing this to a chest stretch. So bringing both arms up as you're breathing, and exhale to lower the arms back down. Inhale, reaching those arms up, nice and wide through the arms and through the chest, and exhale to lower. Do that once more. Feel that good stretch out through the front of your shoulders, just making sure you're not pushing the belly or the chest forward. We're going to add a squat to that, start to do some more through the lower body now. So we're inhaling up. As you breathe out, bring your arms to shoulder height and lower into a squat, taking your weight more into the heels. So inhaling to reach up, and then exhale to lower into your squat. And again, inhaling to reach up, and exhale to lower into the squat. And we'll do three more of those. And exhale, making sure the legs stay parallel and the center of your knees are aligned over your middle toes. Now on this next squat, holding it down there, we're going to add some heel lift. So lifting up your left heel and lower, and then the right heel. And then coming back up out of your squat. Exhale, lower back into the squat, hold that there, legs stay parallel, lifting up the left heel, lower as you breathe out, right heel lift, toes stay on the floor, and then inhale to reach up. Let's do that once more. So back into your squat, weight in the heels, but then lifting up the left heel, and lower. Lifting up the right heel, keeping the pelvis level, and then coming back up, and lower your arms out to the side. Should be feeling a bit warmer by now. Let's do a little bit more here though. So taking your legs wider apart, so a bit wider than hip widths, turning out through the hips and knees. We are at a 45 degree angle. 
We're taking this into a sumo squat. So we're going to come into your plie, arms out wide, and then back up. Now, as we do this squat, you notice you don't have to lean forward so much from the hips. Your back stays a little straighter, but making sure those knees are going out in line with your middle toes. Hips and body stay facing forward. We'll do two more of those. But inhaling as you lower and exhaling to straighten back up. Now, after this last one, we're going to add a little side plie in the stretch. So we come back into our squat again as we breathe in. On the breath out, taking your hand to the knee and reaching that left arm up and over. So feeling a good stretch right through the side of the trunk, add the lunge to that side. Straighten back up, coming back into your plie. On the breath out, coming up and over to the left side and lunge into the side. Coming back into your plie. So harder work for the legs. Taking that lunge and making sure the knees line up with your middle toes. Searching back into your squat. Reach up and over and add in the lunge. And back to the centre. We've got one more to each side. Make sure those hips and body stay facing forward. We're not twisting through the trunk. And final one. Coming back into your squat and then back up with the body. Let's walk those feet back into a parallel position and finish them off with a rock down here. So imagine you have a wall behind you with the back of your head, your shoulder blade and your tailbone touching that wall. Take a breath here and as you breathe out, let's roll your head away from that wall, letting your shoulders round forward, scooping through the belly, just making sure you round over the top of your belly, Peeling down, set the high segment, soften those knees if you need to. Breath in at the bottom of the movement. On the breath out, we'll reset. So tail tucking under, drawing gently upwards through the tummy. Restack through the low back, shoulders, neck, and head. We'll do one more there, so bring them here. On the breath out, rolling the head forwards, rounding through the shoulders, scooping through the tummy. Peeling forward segment by segment. Breathing at the bottom. And then soften your knees, walk your hands down to the mat. And sitting back into child's pose. And now you should be feeling nice and warm through your lower and upper body and you're ready to start the rest of the